Lovely evening. Welcome. This is Scorecard live on CTTV. It's the day or the night of the Africa Cup of Nations final, which is into extra time after 90 minutes failed to separate Senegal from Egypt. Nil-nil was how the full time ended, and the two teams have now locked horns for the extra time. Another additional 30 minutes, of course, to play, and if nothing separates the two teams, penalty shootout will follow. Here on the show, we'll keep you updated right from this very moment up until that very final whistle, up until a winner, a champion, is decided for the Africa Cup of Nations. Of course, that's not the only thing that we are going to be talking about tonight for the next 90 minutes. The third place playoff match between Cameroon and Burkina Faso served up a titanic clash uh, in that particular game. It all looked like Burkina Faso were running away with it until Vincent Abubakar stepped up and said, nope, not here. Uh, so we'll show you highlights of that as well. We will take you around the globe in the FA Cup. Man United shocked. So were the defending champions, Leicester City. Both of them knocked out of the competition. We'll take you to Germany, where Bayern Munich uh, have opened a nine-point lead at the top of the Bundesliga table simply because Bruce Dortmund were thumped by Leverkusen. We'll take you to Italy, where Olivia Giroud's brace decided the Milan derby. In Spain, that's where Barcelona did the talking on the pitch, humbling the league champion of Atletico Madrid. All of that to come here for the next 19 minutes. My name is Fentio, Tahir Fentio. Don't forget, we've also got Ghana Premier League, of course, but we'll take a very short break here. When we come back, I will introduce my two musketeers, and then we can start showing you some highlights. All right, welcome back. This is Scorecard and CCTV. Like I said, uh, you can get in touch with us. I know that some of you have probably got two TVs on now. You have one eye on the AFCON final and another eye on Scorecard. I appreciate that. It's hard. Even for me as a host, it's difficult being here while the Africa Cup of Nations final is ongoing. Uh, but do let us know what you make of the match and what you make of the AFCON uh, overall so far. Send me a message. Use the hashtag scorecard on CTTV, hashtag scorecard on Twitter, uh, hashtag scorecard. I'll read those messages, retweet them, and then share them with uh, our viewers from across the globe. Also, uh, you can alternatively send me a WhatsApp message. The number is on your screen, plus 233 550 585832 plus 2335505853 that's how you can get in touch with us uh, on the show tonight my guests uh, the usual two musketeers keeping a very keen eye on the afcon final coach christopher uh, nimley and then mr daniel cranton coach <laughs> yes. what, what, what is, is wrong name? with me <laughs> that's the question what is my name <laughs> coach Christopher Nimli. And what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I said quote Christopher Nimli. You see, they are watching you. They all heard what you said. What did I say? Nimli. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Your name is Nimli. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm fine. But today, I'm your, fine. our boy is shining different. Too. Look, I've always hey. told you. No, your guys are good. I'm. Uh, hey. One of these days. Yes. No, I'll come. I've told you, I've told Daniel, I've told Nathan, I've told Nketiah. Uh, uh -huh. The people are extreme cats. Extreme cats. He says, I should bring you guys for a proper, oh my goodness, <laughs> for a proper haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on me. <laughs> oh, is it? For a very, very good haircut. Yeah. And, 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 and I look forward to the day where I will take you all there. This yeah. man, the no, boy today man, is, uh, I'll give No, you this is shining extra. Yes, I'm looking good. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And you came with your watch. Every time you come with your watch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let's do the show. <laughs> Daddy K, how are you, my brother? I'm very, very good. Uh, I'm very, very good. Uh, Charlie, uh, guys, even before we talk about anything else, you've all been keeping an eye on the AFCON final, obviously. Um, you can't forget the, the way the game started. Very early on, mm -hmm. penalty... Mm -hmm. Poor tackle, of course, from up to the moment. But Senegal weren't complaining. They got a penalty. Sergio Mani stepped up. The Hula Baluda surrounded it. And we've got that penalty. We'll just put it on the screen for you. The Sergio Mani penalty that he missed. But namely, I mean, from that moment, 
Talk me through all of the shenanigans around the penalty. The penalty itself, clear penalty. So it's a perfect penalty. And then... I think uh, Mohamed Salah pulled the fast one on his teammate. You see, the moment M Mane picked up the ball, Salah went straight to the goalkeeper. <laughs> Mane would have done same. Yeah. If Egypt had been awarded the penalty and Salah, he would have gone straight to... That is true. Mendy and told him... And so, Mane's decision, in my view, was the best decision. Right. He knew very well that Salah had told the goalkeeper where he was going to go. So, and psychologically, the keeper knows that once money has got, once money had come to tell him to go, he would have, he would go the opposite direction. Yeah. And if you watch Sadio Mane, most of his penalties has always gone to the right-hand side. Right. And he's decided to go for power. I think that was the right thing he did. Mm -hmm. But again, the ball was too direct. It was too, too close to the goalkeeper. Close. That was a I mean, the power was one. great. And this goalkeeper, the if you've watched him, He's not the sort of goalkeeper who has been moving. He just keeps his calm, wait for you to kick. Simply means that he's usually uh, taken or decided where he will go, but he will not commit himself. Yeah. I'm going right. I'm not going to commit myself for you to see. But if you go to where I have decided to go, I will try and make the same. Yeah. And that was yeah. a brilliant, it brilliant. Was. He's virtually kept Egypt in this game. In this particular game, up to now, it actually kept them in the whole tournament. Exactly. Actually, that penalty save means that Kabaski has now saved more penalties than Egypt have scored goals. Yes, <laughs> yeah, he saved four. You can imagine. Yeah. I mean, saved... that's incredible. But Daniel, we were just having that debate. Uh, I think on, uh, on 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 Twitter as well. Uh, I mean, there are those that said that it was a poor kick. I don't think that it was a poor kick. I think it wasn't great because I thought it was a bit too close to the goalkeeper. But every time there's power behind the ball like that, 9 out of 10 is a goal. Frank Lampard scored a ton of penalties like this. Look, it was a superb save. I think if you say it was a poor kick, you are uh, not doing taking justice. Credit yeah, away taking from, credit away from, from the from goalkeeper. The goalkeeper. Yeah. It's not doing justice to what the goalkeeper did. Look, it was a fantastic save. It was a perfect penalty. He picked the spot, he went for power. And you see, in as much as yes, he didn't go to the, the corner, the pace of the ball and the power of the ball, yeah. nine times out of ten, will be too yeah. quick for goalkeepers to be able to save it. But you have to credit Gabaski because although he dived to his right, the ball didn't necessarily go into the corner. So he was moving and he quickly adjusted himself and, and, and palmed it away. And not just the fact that he got a hand to it, yeah. but a strong enough arm to keep that's it out the of point. the pool. Exactly. Because there was so much power behind the shot. And I think that's where we should give the credit to. It was a good penalty for Mali, but a super fantastic save from Gabas. Absolutely. Uh, anyway, so that game is still going on. That was the first of the many saves that Gabaski made in that particular game. Uh, of course, uh, Mendy was also called into action, I think, towards the end of the first half. He made a very good save off Salah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as well. Uh, but the match uh, currently is still ongoing. Nil-nil between the two sides. It's 103 minutes. Uh, so just about 17 or 16 or so minutes left before this game is decided, whether in, uh, in extra time or whether to the penalty shooter. Like I promised, we'll keep you updated as uh, we go on. But let's uh, take you to the Ghana Premier League and show you some highlights. First up, Bichem United, they took on Ashanti Gold and they beat them by two goals to nil. All right, so there you had it. Uh, a very comfortable victory for uh, Bichem United there. Also, Kim Faisal, they took on RTU and they won by two goals to nil. All right, so Kim Faisal returning to winning ways for the first time in five games. So good enough for them. Let's show you one more match. This was... The biggest game of the round, of course, the Gamma Shidabi, uh, between Accra Hearts of Oak and Accra Great Olympics. It was a game where Sule Muntari was set to make his debut for the Fovians, which he did, but it wasn't enough uh, to rescue a point for them as they lost by one goal to nil. All right, so the Gamma Shidabi, of course, ending in victory for Great Olympic. I was at the stadium. Somebody said Olympics have won their trophy for the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way they celebrated, I don't, I don't doubt it. Uh, but before I take the guys' thoughts, let me just show you the four results from uh, match week 16 of the Ghana Premier League. There you go. Uh, the standout results there, uh, of course, is Ken Faisal returning to winning ways after five matches. Now, I cry Lions versus Midyama. Uh, there was a very, it was a very controversial game because I don't know if Christopher has seen. It was a clear goal that was disallowed. 
So uh, that media must score that was this. I'm sure Daniel has seen it. It's all over Twitter. Ah. It is unbelievable how anybody will look at that. I wish we had that go, to be honest, and take offside. Uh, media have posted it on their Twitter. But Great Olympus keep also beating hearts of folk. Um, the Bien Gold Stars, uh, they beat the Giant Stars. So, Giant, after sacking their coach, uh, can't seem to find a resource. Legon City's Carella ending in a stalemate. Dreams lost at home to Chelsea by one goal to nil. Uh, and then 11 Wonders and Wafa also ended nil nil. Wafa are bottom of the table. I'll show you the table shortly. But Kotoko versus Elmina Sharks is on Monday. Elmina Sharks are bottom of the table. So, you guarantee that Kotoko will probably uh, get all the points there. Uh, let me show you the table uh, from the Ghana Premier League. So there you go. Um, Asante Kotoko top 33 uh, points. Bichem United 29 points. Kim Faisal 26. Midyama 26 as well. And then the bottom three. Wafa living dangerously. 11 Wonders and Elmina Sharks as well. All right. So that's the bottom line as far as that's concerned uh, in the Ghana Premier League. All right, uh, like I said, we'll continue to give you updates on the AFCON final. It's 110 minutes in. It's still nil-nil. Uh, Ten more minutes uh, to decide this game or we head straight into penalty shootout. But guys, quick thoughts on the Ghana Premier League matches. Uh, Nimli, okay. I'm sure you want to start from the Ghana match, Davi. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely, that's what I want. Look, you don't defend a league title like this. <laughs> there are not 10 points behind Kotoko. Who it's have gone. a game in hand? It's gone. Yeah. Uh, look, if Kotoko were to lose this title to Hasafok in particular, that would be the biggest. You sack Prof, you sack Nanaya and Ponsan, you dissolve the board <laughs> and bring in new people. <laughs> I just can't see that happen. Yeah. Look, if you look at the football today that Hasafok played, I watched the game up to some stage and I completely decided not to continue because. Wow. They were overly anxious. A similar thing they did last season last when they season. lost one nil to Accra Great Olympics. Two nil, the first one. When they lost two zero, two actually, zero. you two see, zero. Yeah. you go into the match and you don't respect the fact that it is a derby game, and you can have the best of players, but on that day, mm -hmm. the team that nobody thinks has the quality players, they will come in there very determined. Because they are aware that if they were to lose, there's no noise. But if they were to get the result, like Olympus have gotten the result, mm -hmm. we've all seen the noise in town. <laughs> there was jammer everywhere. Everywhere. Around the, and for me, Hasafuk, it's time that mm -hmm. from the technical team, maybe from the big men through to the, through to the playing body, they begin to respect Accra Great Olympics. Right. Because if you've gone through the history of these two battles, there are times where as a folk is sure they were going to win. Anytime, most often, anytime as a folk, they are high flying and so sure of victory. Olympic just comes in there and then gets the job done. Look at the goal. Superb. Two cent who are those centre backs? It's more Alassan and Adusua. Oh my goodness. The two <laughs> the <laughs> two <laughs> solid centre back. That's the regular pair, pair in this that season. That is the best pair it's in the team. Joke. It was a joke of a goal to concede. A joke to be of honest. a goal to concede. And for me, I don't blame Soa because he got damaged. I blame Mo Alassan because he really? was... He, of course. You see, Soa went in with the ball in front of him and the Olympics player. Yeah. So yeah. the Olympic yeah. is, is... There you go. So, so it was Mo Alassan who went to sleep. Yeah. He, he left his done, marker. That's, the, that's okay. it. He should have tracked the run. The runner. <laughs> As, exactly. But he also was so flat-footed. Thank you. Because... There was no way most, uh, 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 Mo Alassa was going to touch the ball first. Mm -hmm. So the Olympics player, this. watch the ball. There is Mo. So there you go. So There's I don't saw so, I don't saw her. It's behind the Olympics player. So common defensive principle will tell you that you should follow the runner. Follow him. He went to sleep. He followed him. He was just too slow. That's what I'm, No, <laughs> he went to sleep for just some yeah, that's two, true. three seconds. And that was the difference. Yeah. And for me, I've always said that if you defend like this, you have to be punished. You have to be punished. Yeah. So I can't get to be deserved. And I like <laughs> the celebration uh, from Anna Walker. Anna Walker. <laughs> what is he shooting? Senior. <laughs> Good evening. I know he's such a character. Eh? Of course. He's such a oh, lovely man. Of such course. A, 
Dan, quick thoughts before we take our first break. Um, congratulations to Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They are um, 2021-2022 Ghana <laughs> Premier League champions. It's been a long time coming. You have to congratulate uh, Prof. He's done a remarkable job. He just walked into this team. And it's virtually a new team. So, yeah. in as much as you make excuses for Hearts and say they've lost some key players, Kotoko also went out into the market and literally bought a new team. And they are gelling after just a couple of weeks um, pre-season. And it's, 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 it's working. So... Um, you can't really make excuses for hearts or folk. Yeah. Um, you can't be losing games like this in this manner. Um, back to back, last season they lost in the sea. And as coach has said, it's just down to the mentality. It's just, they are not up there when it comes to these big games. And that is a huge problem they need to fix. But you also have to credit um, Abekwe for that goal. Yeah. That's some, he didn't touch look, the ball. That's some top just, class centre yeah. forward play. The awareness, just to know that First of all, his strike partner was not offside. Yes. He knew the defender was following him. He knew the defender expected him to touch the ball. And just that awareness to leave it. And these are the sort of things that don't go down in terms of stats as an assist. That's but this the is, point. This, this should be an assist. This, is, this should be an assist. It's just, it's, it, look, it's, it's top class. And for anybody who was wondering why he was the, the, one of the local guys to feature in the Black Star, this is why. Yeah. The level of intelligence is just... I was and, and not above the rest of the guys in there. And that is top class. But just to uh, quickly mention, of course, we didn't show it, but we need to mention it. That is graceful disallowed goal for um, Mediama. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has seen the, the, the replay, look, you just don't understand what the linesman was looking at. And some of these things just take our minds back to the expose. And we start asking questions like that. Because if you even look at his, his line of view, he even when knew the, he wasn't, he look, knew he even wasn't when the Mediama player touched the ball, he still wasn't offside. So where did the offside come from? And that's it, look. It's a serious. He problem. made it run from deep. From he was deep, nowhere. And when his look, that's what I'm saying. Even if the linesman wasn't tracking the guy's run, when the Mediama player touched the ball in the box, he yes. still wasn't offside. Yes. There was still a defender at the fire, and he was playing him on onside. Ah. And that is these things are unacceptable. It shouldn't be happening. It was quite disgraceful. And uh, uh, if you see that decision, that offside decision, you'll be very angry yourself. Anyway, uh, but we will take. Uh, sorry, we will take a very short, short break. When we come back from this, apologies for that. Uh, when we come back from this, I have a quick take myself on the Hearts of Four game because what I saw today means that the head coach, Sam Waboyi himself, is probably in big trouble because a lot of what happened today is not just down to the players, but the coaching itself is a bit suspect. This is Scorecard on City TV. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Scorecard on City TV. My name is Fentu. Tahir Fentil, keep your messages coming on 0550-585832. Also, leave, leave me a message on uh, Twitter. Use the hashtag scorecard. Like I indicated, we're still following very closely that AFCON final between Senegal and Egypt. And it's currently 120 minutes uh, in. Uh, and it is uh, nil-nil. So penalty shootout uh, it is now. Final whistle gone, so now we head to the penalty shootout to determine who the African champion for 2021 is. Um, but before that, let me read some messages here. Hello, guys. How are you doing? This is PC23 from The Gambia. I just want to thank Arsenal for giving us Aubameyang, and Barcelona should be buying Adama a crate of oil every week and make them really rub it on him instead of playing. This guy is unbelievable. And we'll get to that game between Barcelona and Atletico very shortly. Cracking game. Adama had a game to remember, of course. Um, this one says, so can House of Folk coach control Suleiman Tari? Bala Uru Akondo from Agona Suedu with that message. Uh, Esteen Church is inside Winneba says, um, so my United going trophyless again this season. I'm very happy for them. Carabao Cup out, FA Cup out, Premier League out, Champions League out on the way. <laughs> um, uh, Dimola in Oibi says, some of these excuses for the team's performances and defeats are becoming predictable. He blames the players for losing their concentration. Having given this excuse, have been given this excuse since the match against Midyama. What has he done to rectify it? Why stand on the touchline, do nothing for 90 minutes, and get beaten? only to tell stories after. By the way, he repeated the same excuse today. Interesting. Ademola in OEP. Um, 
Reverend Avle in Lome, Togo. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> he says, maybe today you read my message. Last Sunday, I told you I want Senegal and Egypt to meet in the final. It's come true. We are waiting for the outcome. What is happening to Hearts of Folk? Wonder Club Olympic beat us today. I'm very sorry uh, for Hearts. My dear Christopher, your United is out of the FA Cup. Chelsea is the Blues, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Afcon, if only he yeah, can. Reverend. Rev, if, if he only he can. To, he wants to see what you have seen. Yes. He wants to know what you have seen. Eh? Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, these are strong men of God. <laughs> when they see, you don't doubt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good evening, scorecard. It's hard, but I chose uh, City scorecard over Afcon final. I can't miss this evening show. I want to hear what Coach will say about United's defeat. I wonder how he felt on Friday. All the best to Chelsea in their club World Cup. Blues forever. Orlando from Japan. Um, this one says, who is the Black Stars coach? Uh, Black Stars don't have a coach yet. Uh, Kingsford from Taifa says, Egyptians are the real black magic. I don't know <laughs> what you mean by that. But uh, the 120 minutes of football is over now. Penalty shoots out, uh, beckons as we speak. The two teams preparing uh, for the shootout. Uh, Chris and Daniel, what we will do for the next 10 15 minutes, I don't know. They stuck through the pet altitude out, obviously. But your thoughts on 120 minutes of football? I have never seen a goalkeeper perform this good in a yeah. final. Doesn't matter what happens, the basket is player of the tournament for me. I think if they win it, he wins it. If they don't, I think I'll give the player of the tournament to the Burkina Bay chap in the number nine shirt. That Rasta guy who plays yeah, on the right. right Isaac yeah. Look, I don't know his name. I forgot it, but he... he the Is one that the right back? The Man City yeah. player? The Man City. No, no. Yeah, he's a Man yeah, City player. Yeah. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Yeah, he has had a amazing Charlie, Charlie. Tournament. Look, he's, this is a tournament he would never forget. And I believe if Egypt were to win this cup, yeah. you give it to the goalkeeper. If not, go give it to the book. Yeah. I, don't, right. I don't really care what happens. Like, I don't really care. I don't think it matters what happens. I do agree with you. I agree with you. He's been, look, he's been head and shoulders above everybody. When it comes to individual hey, top class, the yeah, individual top class game winning um, um, performances, he's, he's been the one. He took Sodium through against Morocco. Um, in fact, against Cote d'Ivoire, against Morocco. That was when El Chanawi got, got injured. Then he, he came, came on, saved the penalty. Saved the penalty. <laughs> before the penalty, against against Morocco, Morocco, he made some crucial saves. Crucial, 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 crucial saves. And people then, are working, though, you see? They've given him something and he's looking yes. at. Mm -hmm. For all you know, they've done the scouting on every Senegal player. Of course oh. they have. When it comes to penalty kick, it's they not... know where all of them goes. They have preferred choice. And if you look at the goalkeeper right now, he's virtually been given a list. And he's looking at the... If it is my... No, we are joking in this country. We are jokers. 50-50. Anything can happen when it goes to penalty kick. No, but it is not. No, about I mean that's happen. what we say. That's, that's what, what we say here. Yeah, yeah. But people are. are it's science. scientific. It's, it's very scientific. Look, I remember very well. I think when my United beat Chelsea in that ninety-eight, not ninety-eight, two or eight. Two or eight. Yes, yeah. both teams were playing. In fact, Chelsea were the better prepared. Yes, and 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 Van der Sar, who had the Chelsea players in their preferred position. He virtually decided to go the opposite way. That's why he couldn't save any of the penalties in yeah. the first five. Now, when in the sudden death, mm -hmm. and then he decided to follow the script, that was how come he got Nicolas Anelka penalty yeah. saved. So people are proving that this thing is scientific. The same thing for when Chelsea won the championship exactly. in 2012. In including the penalty that Peter Cech saved Same against from, Iron Robin. Exactly. And, and the shoot shot he went yeah. the right but way for every, every single penalty. That Bayern mm -hmm. took that day. Yeah. And it is part of the coaching. They don't have management members there. <laughs> just eating and chopping <laughs> by heart at the expense of the taxpayer. Uh, they don't have management members ben, there. Uh, Daniel, just before the shootout begins, I mean, Gabaski is taking all the praise. His opposite number is the UEFA goalkeeper. In fact, it's the world goalkeeper of the year. Mm -hmm. This is the best goalkeeper in the world, in uh, Edouard Mendy. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not been the best goalkeeper in this tournament. Neither is he that great at penalty shoot house. He's not been the best goalkeeper in this tournament oh, no. because he's hardly faced shots. Look, I, I don't and like what I'm seeing of the Senegalese players. 
What's happening? It's like, they look like they've already been beaten. Yeah. They look that like we didn't want this to happen. Look All at right. Koulibaly's, Koulibaly's so taking the first, So uh, the first penalty is up next. Uh, and it's Senegal who will kick first. Daniel, what do the stars say for the first kickers? They usually go on to win. Yeah, so the team that takes the first kick more often than not always goes on to win. So Senegal have won the toss. They will, face, uh, they will take the first kick. And it is their captain, uh, Khalid Koulibaly, who is going to step up and take this one against... He plays for Napoli. Gabaski. He, he plays, plays for Napoli. The, ah. the most expensive defender in the world So at he one should point. show a bit more belief. So here he is. Koulibaly is going to be right-footed. And he scores. So that's the first He, the first he kick. nearly missed it. Yeah. Well, and he scored. scored. Yeah, he scored. He scored. But Gavaski went to his right direction. He touched it. So but Gavaski, Gavaski went this. to his right. I guarantee you he, he goes to his saved. right for the rest of the shootout. He should have saved this. Maybe. By his very high standard, <laughs> Gavaski should have saved that yeah. penalty. But, you know, from what we know of Gavaski, in the shootout against Côte d'Ivoire, his first kick, he went to the right, went to his right the whole shootout. Mm -hmm. In the last shootout against Cameroon, he went to his left for the first kick, went to his left for the following three kicks, and only went to his right for the last kick. Alice Issa should be I, I telling think, his look, men. I think he's going according to his notes. I, I just feel he's going according to his I think Alice Issa should be okay. telling his men that this is the goalkeeper. He keeps the and predictably is Zizou. Oh. Zizou. <laughs> the man who took and scored two brilliant penalties against uh, Cote d'Ivoire and also against uh, Cameroon. Star. Here he is, and he Sweet. scores brilliantly yet again. So it's 1-1. One, one. Between the two sides, Dan? Sweet. I, I think um, 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 Cesar should be telling his Senegalese players, preferably go to the left, of, because he, he's injured on that side of his I head. said he will go to the right, I guarantee you. Is he? His left foot is growing. Yeah. He has a groin there. So diving to the left yeah, is it, problematic. It, so put every ball there, then go for power. All go right. for power. Senegal are up next with their second kick. Uh, I'm not sure which player it is Charlie. yet. This is tense, though. Uh, that is going to... Even those of us sitting here, we are tense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's the thing. So Senegal, up next with the second game. Diallo. And it's Diallo, the centre-back. He's left-footed. PSG, left -footed. Yeah. PSG yeah. He's left-footed. So you wonder where he's going to go. He's going to the <sighs> right of the keeper. And the keeper dashed to the right. The that's what I said. Almost. And I guarantee you, he will go to the right for the rest of the shootout. Okay. What I'm saying is, keep the ball on the turf. And he will not make the save. Yeah. Because he's actually diving on top of the ball. Mm -hmm. Again, because of his injured foot. One player will go and put it there and put it at the height that and he likes. And save he will it. save. Because, and you see, and it doesn't take magic to know this. Gabaski chooses the first place he dives to in his first kick. From his last 10 shootouts that he's faced, he's only chosen to go differently once. Mm. So, so that the, says a lot. So which means the technical team of Senegal... Should have also done and yet the homework. first two kicks have gone exactly the same place. Yes. Anyway, so Egypt are up next. And Maybe then the morning, who gave away the penalty in regulation <clears> that <throat> time that Sergio Mani missed? He's going to be the one to play Egypt's second kick. Uh, he's up against Edouard Mendy. Everyone said Mendy is moving to left, right, left, right. And then oh, he misses. He's missed. Up against the post. Up the moment. Um, he sent Edouard Mendy the, the wrong, wrong way. way. And they hit the upright. Namely, you made a point about Egypt going into the shootout believing they could win, but it could actually backfire. As it stands, Senegal needs to score all. They mm -hmm. win the cup. Just before, because it's like they were playing for the penalty shootout. The Egyptians, they were playing to take the game to penalties. You cannot be all the time lucky. Yes, it may be your strength, but you could meet somebody or another team on the day, and they will just get it right. Yeah. So play. If it gets there, so be it. All right. So uh, it's 2-1 for Senegal, and they have to play now. Look at Sadio Mane. So He's praying. They have a chance to make it 3-1 in the shootout. This is the bad um, money, boy. Jabaski um, saves. Jabaski saves. Solid. And uh, Daniel, what did I tell you? He moved, right, he moved there again. He's going to dive and, to the right the whole somebody, time. somebody... He said that somebody by all means put it to the height that he prefers. Yeah, he that's said that. Exactly. Exactly. But this, hey, is, this is very good. He's looking at the script, though. Look at him. You see? Mm -hmm. He's looking at he the script. He looks at it, covers it, goes and, into the And uh, I don't know why Senegal don't know oh, this. Because Gavaski is going to dive to his right the entire time. And it's not even... <laughs> <Is that laughs> anyway. Uh, wow. Guys, Look. 
All right, you I, know I what? can imagine what you is know? happening in Dakar and what is happening in Cairo. Yeah, you know what? Um, <laughs> Let's keep it here. Uh, Let's talk about um, it. The big uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry that the viewers can't see what's going on, but we are trying our best to describe it as much as possible. Um, of course, Senegal still lead the shootout 2-1. They missed the opportunity Mendy, you to make it save, stand and save one. Now Egypt have a chance to level, and they have done that. Uh, so it's uh, it's two two now uh, in the wow. shootout, and um, <laughs> Senegal gave away a very good opportunity as far as that one is concerned. But from the way Mendy um, is behaving, how is he going to say Mendy is behaving? What sort of behavior is this? He should stand and you are big. Just say, <laughs> pick a spot. And from the way he's he's doing, he's guessing. Yeah. You, you can do that. Yeah. Look at your opposite goalkeeper. It's like clearly he has his mind made up as to where he's going. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you the third place playoff match between uh, Burkina Faso and Cameroon. So you enjoy that. Maybe by the time we come back from it, uh, the penalty shootout would have been decided. Take a look. All right. So uh, Burkina Faso, well, they gave away a very huge advantage. Cameroon celebrating bronze. But guess what? While you were showing you that, uh, Egypt missed a crucial penalty. Uh, in fact, let me put it this way. Edouard Mendy saved Egypt's fourth penalty. And now, Sadio Mane, if he scores, he makes it... Uh, Why, is Salah crying already? Yes. If Sadio Mane <laughs> scores, he makes it 4-3. And that will be... No, 4-2. Four, four, in fact, 4-2. And that will be all. So, it is Sadio Mane to win the Africa Cup of Nations... Oh God, help for this Senegal boy. for the first time in their history. Help this Sergio Mane and he scores. Senegal are African champions. Bota, bota, bota. You won it, Sergio Mane. I told you, Sergio Mane is backfired. Has done it, and that is how it should be done. Yes, that is how it should Senegal be done. Senegal deserves Finally, to win this. Senegal, uh, after years of pain. After years of torment, they were there in 2002 with Captain Ali Sisi. He was captain of a side in 2002. They lost to Cameroon. They went to the World Cup, did well, but still was painful. He came, tried to change history, became head coach, led them to the final in 2019. An early goal from Algeria, and they couldn't quite recover from it. Three years later, he's led them back to the final. Yet again, after seven years in charge, Senegal looked like it wasn't going to be their night. They had a penalty. Sadio Mane missed it in regulation time. Egypt held on. Penalty shootout. Senegal had the advantage once. <laughs> Idris again. Once. again. He and then they gave it away. <laughs> it Twice. Again again. Couldn't watch. Finally, Edouard Mendy. Big players step up on big nights. Edouard Mendy, the world goalkeeper of the year, he saved one of the shootout and he slept with Sadio Mane, the captain. In the mind, in the head, he may not be wearing that armband, but Sergio Mane has been the leader of this team. He has brought them glory. And it is one that will celebrate, that they will celebrate deep into the night, deep into the streets of Dakar. From wherever you look, West Africa is proud of Senegal. Sergio Mane and Co. Are you cool? They've done it, namely. Yeah, I'm so happy. I am so happy. You see, just before the game ended, I told you guys something that I don't like the way the Egyptians are playing. It's like they are playing knowing very well that when they get to penalties, they win. It's like it's their bona fide right. Once it gets there, they have to win it. They've never lost on penalty in this tournament. I stand to be corrected. This is the first time they've done it. You could just have, look over the 120 minutes football we've seen. I think Senegal deserves to win this. Egypt didn't look like scoring, to At be all. honest. Unless Mo Salah, as a team, defensively, in the attacking sense, Senegal by far was the better team. And look, football would have been so unfair if this country, with this generation of players, had not given themselves at least a trophy. The people of Dakar, the people of Senegal, deserve an Afghan trophy. And these two teams will go at will go at it again, in March. In, in March, in the World Cup qualifiers, where the first leg will be played in Egypt and the second leg will be played in Senegal. I think by far, in terms of quality, in terms of pedigree, player for player, 
Senegal has the better team. Some of, most of us tip them. In fact, I tip them to get to the final. And if they were to get to the final, they will win. And I'm so happy. Sadio Mane, who missed, was eventually the hero. Together with his teammate from Chelsea or his brother from Chelsea, Edward Mendy. When I told him to stop misbehaving, <laughs> you saw that. Just stand. You are big enough. Stand, pick a spot, and decide I'm going right. If he comes there, I make the save. That was how come he saved that ball. And for me, I'm so happy that the Egyptians' game plan for once did not materialize. Because they came into this game only thinking of taking the game to penalties for them to go and win it. Yes, they, were, they won against Cote d'Ivoire due, due to a very... Uh, uh, I don't know how to charge you. Use the word. Uh, everybody. Silly penalty. Silly. Uh, unlooking. How can you do that? <laughs> you saw what he did that day? He unlooked. And then he, he didn't was, even look at the ball. He didn't even look at the keeper and the ball. He, so wants, he, he unlooked. He unlooked. <laughs> <laughs> and then against Morocco, they deserve to win. Yeah, against point. Morocco, Egypt. That, that was when they came out to play. Yeah. And they deserve to win. Against Cameroon. Look, this game has played out just like. The game against Cameroon. They didn't come to win in open play. Cameroon, if they had taken their chances, should have beaten Egypt. But hey, it's not about being beautiful. It's about, be, it's about being tactical, sticking to their game plan. But again, penalty shootout could go either way. Although they are the scientific aspect of the game like we saw. But today. everybody's prepared. Everybody's. Now, you remember I told you, I hope CC took his players through this because it would be so naive on the part of a top-class coach getting to this stage, not getting your team to practice penalties and have your preferred penalty takers in that order. So congratulations to Senegal. There you go. Your man is the man of the match. Of course, he deserves Sabaski. it. He deserves Daniel, it. Daniel, I mean, just talk me through what the emotions would be for Senegal. Like, like I was saying, they have suffered enough. They've been, they've come close on three occasions. They've lost up to each occasion. And we spoke about why the Senegalese players wanted to win it for Ali Cissé. Yeah. Mani said he's the most criticized coach he has ever worked with. Mm -hmm. He's under intense pressure back home. Yes. But to even get to back-to-back -back finals in Africa, only Egypt have done that, I yes. believe, mm -hmm. uh, in recent memory. Yeah. It's remarkable. And overall, we complain about the fact that the first three matches in the group stage, they didn't look like a team that was into any top gear at all. Three matches, one goal, two nil-nil draws. In their last three games before the final, they scored eight goals Look, in fans, those knockout games. This is... In, in, and you see, when we started the competition, I kept on saying that the, the most difficult part of the competition for me is the group stages. Just qualify. Once you qualify, it's one game at a time and anything can happen. The team with the, the, the better game plan is a team that will progress. And that's what we saw. We saw, in fact, after the group stages, like the Nigeria-Tunisia game like this. We all know player for player, Nigeria is better than Tunisia. Nigeria played better football than Tunisia. But it's not about who plays a better football. It was about game plans. It was about taking it a, a game at a time. And, and that's what Senegal did. Um, they were able to qualify from the group stages. And then from then, it was step by step by step. But you see, in as much as I'm happy for the players and everything, nobody can understand the sort of pain and very unfair criticism that Ali Ucc has gone through. Very unfair. He was captain in 2002. He missed the penalty in that shootout against um, Cameroon. I remember that penalty. Um, 2019, as a head coach, he loses a final against um, Algeria. And then he's here again. And when, when Mani talks about he being the most criticized coach, you look at what he's done with this Senegalese team and you ask yourself, why is <laughs> what he... What are the standards there? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, why, why are they going at him like that? For because, a country that yeah, have no proper football look, in his He team. becomes a... He's the first ever Senegalese uh, manager to qualify them for a World Cup. He, he's made... In fact, in the 2017 AFCON, they lost out on penalties in the quarterfinal against eventual champions Cameroon. So it's one of those things that it could have gone anyway. Anyway, he goes to a final in 2019, goes to a final in uh, 2022... And then people still have the nerve to get up and say he's not a good he's leader. He's at the verge of if qualifying If I were CC, I'll leave after this. Look, I, I, I will. Right maybe, maybe, maybe after... Don't after, allow him to leave. He has to play the playoff. Yeah, maybe after the against playoffs. Against Maybe he's after done, the playoff, if they were to qualify, if I'm the one, I'll take the team to the World Cup. Look, then after the World he's Cup... He's done such a fantastic job. And I think it's, some of the criticism is, is, is very unfair. But on this game, um, look, I'm not one of those who... It's not about whether this 
team played better than this team. Senegal came with a game plan trying to win it within 90 minutes, maybe 120 minutes. Egypt came with a game plan trying to force it into penalties. I don't think that, that you can't sit somewhere and say this is a bad game plan or this no, is a no, good no, game no, plan. No, no, not at all. They were solid. They were able to take the game to 120. My point is, if Senegal were better, then if Senegal were clearly better on the field of play, then they should have scored. But they weren't because Egypt matched them in terms of defense. They came back, they were very compact. Um, the goalkeeper is there to do his job, Gabaski. So you can't say, um, if not, if not. No, he's in the pool to save chances that come his way. And he did, he did so. So um, I think, well, look, it was a very even game. Um, both game plans look like they work. And it came down to penalties. So you see, it's one of those things. We could clearly see from the quality of penalty kicks that both teams were very prepared for the shootout. Um, and look, this is a, this, this is, these are some of the things that we like to see. This is a fantastic advert for for African football. The whole world was watching. Um, we are very sure that the whole world was watching this particular game. Even the storyline between Mane and, 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 and Salah. Yep, yep. Just, that's it, and what actually more. happened yeah. before he missed that penalty. Salah, Salah talking, he yeah. going there, hey, come on, go in. So it's, it's, it's <laughs> look, it's nice. I'm, I'm happy for the Senegal. It's, it's nice, finally, it's, it's, finally. It's, it's, yeah. um, I was sitting there, when Mane's penalty came and I just smiled to myself. But it took me back to 2015. When coach, Coach's first statement was, um, if this Senegalese team hadn't won, the footballing goals wouldn't have been. Then the footballing yeah, goals have been very unfair to Ghana. Because we've had generation after generation after generation. And in 2015, when we were two goals up in oh, the penalty it was our own. It's it's our own no, coach, don't do that. It's our is own it? indecision. No, coach, don't do that. The is first it? choice, no, you coach, don't we do picked that. Don't two do that. inexperienced players who had not been at that level to go and take penalty. That's true. Once That's we true. had established one, penalty takers but the one, the ones that missed, for example... Yes, I mean, those ones... Are... Uh -huh. Have you uh, seen uh, him take hold penalty on, hold before? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. And Frank Achampo. Frank Achampo was brought in specifically to take the penalty. You know why? Oh. You see? He was taking penalty. He was because taking... he was, yes. He was, actually he was an established penalty taker. At where? From Anderlecht to China. I have never seen him take one. Of course, you don't watch Chinese league. And what about the free? The Aqua? Belgian league. The free, Aqua. free Aqua, yes, that the is inexcusable. We had Harrison Hafo on the. He should have been part of the best five. You see, but coach, he's gone to the castle. Yeah, so you're saying it's our own doing. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no it is not a manager. You see, you can have your plan. But when it comes to that crunch moment and I tell you, Fent, you are supposed to take players, a kick. Players and you checking freeze out. out. And you're checking no. out. I'm not going to force you to take out. Listen, 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 listen. So you can't say, let before me tell you know, I said, you didn't want to take a penalty. Let me tell you, as a coach, you don't decide who takes the penalty when we get to penalties. I'm not saying you decide. What? But what? even if no, I know no, I'm supposed no, to be no. one of the first no, five and the situation it. comes, no, they're checking I can't check out. And I'm saying that. And I'm saying that. The do that you speak of, Ajwan Bedou speaks of a story from the 2009 shootout mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before he took the winning kick. Mm -hmm. He said when he got to his stand, mm -hmm. after Adair missed, yeah. mm -hmm. when he got to his stand, mm -hmm. he said he looked at... It wasn't his stand. Yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it was, no, it wasn't his stand. No. He said he looked at uh, the next David Adi. Mm -hmm. And David Adi said he, he wouldn't take it. Then he looked at Ajiman. No, Poko Ajiman. No, Poko Ajiman said he wouldn't take it. And he told them, he said, ah, are you Opokwajima? You play in Qatar. If you miss the penalty, your plane to, to Qatar is just mm -hmm. here. From mm -hmm. Egypt to Qatar is two hours. Mm -hmm. He says, You, uh, David Adi, you play in Denmark. Mm -hmm. If you miss, your flight to Denmark is three hours. Mm -hmm. Me, if I miss, mm -hmm. now I have to do six hours to Accra. Okay, and so, from Accra, I'll take bus. So, so already, so, that's so two players who chicken now. Is he causing uh, that that player chicken now? So you never I'm, know I'm, where it happens. That is another 20 level. They are allowed to chicken out there, not at the zenith of the game. What are you talking about? So as Mabedu, the experience he went through at under twenty, puts him in a better position in that twenty fifteen than Afriye Aqua and here's a question and Frank. Uh, here's a question: How much did how much did that experience come to play when Eddie went to take the penalty in the twenty ten World Cup? Ah, but Eddie penalty. Listen, no friend, I am saying that and give the friend, yourself. You took it I'm saying, give yourself if. I have, I'm a head coach and I have a German Bedou, somebody who has been part of a penalty taking history and I have a free air aqua. Who would you pick? I said the same thinking went into choosing Eddie for the shootout Look, against Euroqua. But and I'm missed. saying that. 
I'm saying that. I'm saying that. Edia can step out and miss. That was your best footing forward. That's what I'm saying. Put your best foot in forward. I'm not saying automatically okay. do score. Coach, but it's okay. better than putting somebody Coach, who has never been let, there before. Right. Let, let, me, let me just quickly give you this example. 2012, <laughs> Euro semi-final, Portugal versus Spain. Uh -huh. Bruno Alves was supposed to take the third kick. Mm -hmm. He was going to take his kick, but there was a discussion before, mm -hmm. and he was afraid. Mm -hmm. So as he approached, and you guys remember, as he approached That's... the ball, Nani quickly ran and told him, okay, let me take this one. Mm -hmm. Nani kicked it and scored. And now, of course, because he has switched places with Nani, he was supposed to kick. There was another discussion mm -hmm. because Bruno Alves was still afraid. And mm -hmm. they told Cristiano Ronaldo to go and take it. Ronaldo said, no, you go and take it. Bruno Alves goes, he misses. Fabregas comes, he scores, and that's the end of the show. So, is the fact is, human he beings are human part beings. of the it's best part. It's not when you are 17. But you also have to understand what Daniel is saying. Human human even at the highest level, happen. the best players can't check yes, you can, things happen. You see, you can freeze, you can chicken out. But as a coach, if you are part of my best five, you the go in there. The coach is not out. there. He's not standing there. No, he's select step. No, no, but he's really standing at the bench at, while the same players are on the pitch. If you put me at three see, and I say, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? No. We'll have to is take it? a break. <laughs> 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 You're watching Scorecard on <laughs> CTTV. We'll be right back after this. All right, welcome back. This is Scorecard. We are on the last leg of the show. Uh, this time, uh, we will take you to some FA Cup action and we'll play the highlights back to back. Man United drew 1-1 one, one, uh, with Middlesbrough and then lost on penalties. Uh, and then Chelsea beat Plymouth Argyle, or Plymouth Argyle by two goals to one in extra time. Man City thumped Fulham by four goals to one. And Liverpool were 3-1 winners against Cardiff City. Enjoy all of the highlights from the FA Cup. All right, so uh, <laughs> very interesting results. Uh, one result that we didn't play for you, of course, is Leicester City losing to Nottingham Forest by four goals to one. The holders have been knocked out in such embarrassing fashion. Nottingham were the same team that also knocked out Arsenal Football Club. Namely, they call it the magic of the cup. But um, on United, uh, out of the FA Cup, out of the League Cup, of course, out of the running for the Premier League, someone said soon they will be out of the Champions League as well. It doesn't look like there could be, there will be a trophy on the way. When, and that could be when, five years without a trophy, namely. When Chelsea won the Champions League the first time. The first time? Yeah, nobody saw them winning it. Nobody knew. The oh, yeah, doing, of course, that's true. Yeah, they were that's so, true. So that's true. maybe the, the, the person is wishing that United would put yeah. it out. Of Forget the about the Champions League. Talk about the FA Cup. You can't get kicked they out. They find a way to, to lose the match. Yeah. Because there was no way Middlesbrough should have lasted beyond the 90 minutes. That game should have been wrapped up in the 90 minutes if you create so many chances and you don't put to sleep or put to bed your opponent you keep giving them live support live support they will, they will eventually tell you that they are indeed alive and that was exactly what happened mm -hmm. we watched the game united completely dominated <laughs> they should have won within the 90th minute even in extra time they created chance and didn't take it but this is the FA Cup. Am I surprised you United got booted out of the FA Cup? No, I'm not surprised because such things do happen in this competition. Was the performance convincing enough? Not really. Although they created a lot of chances, I think they could have done better. At the end of the day, it's come back to hunt almost all the Premier League teams. That two-week break that they took, Whilst those below them were playing active, you could clearly see, even in the Chelsea game, you could see the lack of intensity on the team in, from the team in the Premiership. And I think that accounted City for and that. Liverpool and City, didn't... No, but at the end of the day, City themselves, they got a quick reminder. And they quickly resurrected from their sleep, and then they got a job done. But namely, no excuse. the point is, it, like, is it really acceptable for United... Um, to be where they are now because it almost looks it, like it, it, it is what it is and it's not good from, of course it's not good from the way the, the team has been run they have to be where they are and you can clearly see the transformation coming off because look there are so many dead wood in this team that shouldn't be there 
You said Place. that any coach worth his salt would play Van der Beek week in, week out. Yes. The school father has come. School father of Tukil and uh, um, Klopp has come. At the end of the he day. He checked him out. At, at the end of the day, he's gone to Everton. Yes. He will go and play. So you cannot talk about him when it comes to United. He's I know. Out. I'm just saying that perhaps there is more to the situation than just, he just, didn't than just Ole. He didn't contribute. Oh, come on. He has caused all this mess. Don't even mention Ole's name. He's the reason you for all the this mess. You brought the professor to fix it. He hasn't. No, He's still at blaming the end of Ole. The day, you've brought the professor to fix something that is already messed up. Ole shouldn't have renewed the contract of Mata. He shouldn't have renewed the contract of Matic. He shouldn't have... Not, that's the thing. That's that's right. Right. Oh, no, listen. No, no, no. No, no. Listen, 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 listen. We have Ronaldo and listen. Sancho and Pope oh, starting a game like this, listen. Minutes, bro. And you can't win it. Listen, it matter. But that doesn't listen. have anything to do with this. The question you asked, you brought in Ole. What? In my first submission, I didn't mention Ole's name. When you brought in Ole, I'm telling you that... A you said he's a reason for this. Yes. And Daniel is saying... He didn't feel the players that played see, against Nottingham Forest let me tell and they still you, lost. Let me tell you, football is human. So you don't expect Cristiano Ronaldo, no excuse for them, to beat every team that comes their way. I have followed football enough for so long a time that, and I understand the dynamics of the FA Cup. And what I'm saying is, a good team should have quality on the bench. Oh, by Ole Gunnar's social assessment of this team, he kept close to seven players who all should have been shipped out. Mm. That would have created proper competition within the team. So if the professor, Rani, comes in and there's proper competition, if you don't do well, you sit down, the next person goes in there. But if you have Mata, Matic, Phil Jones, uh, uh, Lingard, uh, 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 or, or saying, uh, uh, what's the name of this other player's name? Uh, 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 Eribei and Co. All taking over hundred thousand pounds a week for no yeah. job done. Okay. You don't blame them. Yeah, the proper me... fix to this problem, uh -huh. to the Man United problem, will be what happened next season. Yeah, because so uh, yeah, many okay. players are going to go off. Uh, you know, Fair. just to make a quick point before Daniel comes saying about the, you know, before Tuchel came to Chelsea, yes, you know, Lampard had relegated Jorginho. Mm -hmm. uh, your good friend uh, Rudiger was on his way out. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Alonso was done. Alonso Alonso was so done. many people so were talking see. about managers. You so see, it's not just. You see, you see, the players you are mentioning are good enough footballers. You call Rudiger. No, no forget guy. about that. Was an injury he was carrying. It didn't make him a bad player. No, but he made mistakes that no, made you laugh. I'm saying that <laughs> that was an injury he was. Look, Lampard. Has you said, said the likes of Aspilicueta were all gone. No, As Look. Aspilicueta is finished. Yeah. finished. Ah, so that's the that's it's finished. Quick. See. I don't get it. It's, See, there's Mata, there's Lingard, there's... Ba but when you have an opportunity to let somebody go, it is Martial and Van de Beek. You see, you have the power to keep them all. And you have the power to play them, true. to instill competition. But you let them go. No, but he, so as for that excuse, I'm not going to no, do no, no, He told Number Martial two, not to go. You are playing he a game what? against Middles, bro. You see, let's not make excuses for Ragnik because he's Ragnik. Ah, he's Christian not doing Ronaldo well. missed a penalty. You are blaming no. the coach for that. Oh, are you kidding me, oh, right? No, 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 no. Uh, We can this, always find a no, player to be at fault for every let's defeat. Let's not, let's not, not take, let's not take this no, game. No, but you don't blame the coach for this defeat. Let's not look at this game in isolation. Yes. Ragnik's record with Man United What is his record? It's not the best. What is his record? He's not doing enough. What is his record? And that is true. What is his record? That is true. You see, what is his record? When you're a top team, when you're a top team, you're supposed to be a top manager. We don't have a, you don't, don't have top you players don't, in this game. Coach, relax. Ah, yeah, yeah, you don't, no, you let him you don't let walk him. into a team and ah. say, give me time. When Tuko came in with this Chelsea team that was bereft of confidence, results were not going their way. It took him two weeks to change things. Goodness two weeks me. to change things. When Klopp came into Liverpool and Brendan Rodgers was messing things up, in the first 15 minutes against Tottenham Hotspur, away from home, Everybody could see that Klopp had already instilled this philosophy. By January, they were in a Carabao Cup final. Mm -hmm. By the end of that season, they were in the Europa League final. That's true. That is a top manager. That is progress. We are not seeing it. It is because no, they they had quality. Don't let us make excuses. Don't let us make excuses. No. <laughs> you have Ronaldo, you have Sancho, you have Rashford, you have Pogba, you have Bruno. It's not quality. That is a lot of quality. You have the gear. That's so, not quality. So are you are blaming me? the coach. When Ronaldo puts the penalty down, you are blaming the coach. That's what I'm saying. We can always blame. 
same players for every look, team. There are certain games. Let us not. There are no, certain see, games when the we team are, lose. Let's you need to let us not put the players. Game in look at the chance. Let's not look at this game in isolation. We are talking about when Ragni came till now. What is his record? Ragni came till now. record out there. Put oh, have you enjoyed the football Ragni has played? Has it been it's anything different? It's not about enjoying the football. It's about results. It's not good enough. It's about uh, results. Is the, look, look, look. So if how the players are, are not good enough, why did you sack Oli? Why was it his fault then? Uh, how are these players, players not good Ragnick enough to come and fix a problem that has been caused? But Tukil did at Chelsea. So no, what are you saying? No, did he sign any players to do that? He didn't. Man, you have to sign as many as why? five players. Why? 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 Because those players there are not good enough. Because how many players can a man sign? You made everybody believe that Chelsea were not ready to compete. Do you remember? You've got Teles, you've got Varane, a World Cup winner, four time Champions ah. League winner. You have so bad. And I'm a World Cup friend. You right. have Cristiano Ronaldo, no, 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 you have Sancho, you have Rashford, you have Bruno Fernandes. That is not quality. Fent. That is not quality. Fent. Fent. Let's do our let's do our viewers good. Okay. Pull out Reinick record for United. Let's assess it. Pull it out. You have the intern. Pull it out. Is there? Win, win, win. Uh, no, it's not. It's so not a win-win. It it's, it's, it's not a. Yeah, pull it out. It's not. A, it's not a problem. Yes, pull it out. Uh, I'll pull so it now, out. let's see whether he's he's done that bad. Mm. He hasn't done that bad. Have you enjoyed the football they've played? No. Have you liked the results? There's absolutely first game he won against it is Paris. Very clear. The second him. game he drew mm -hmm. against Young Boys. The Third game he won mm -hmm. against uh, Norwich. Newcastle he draws. Mm -hmm. Burnley he wins. Wolves he loses. Mm -hmm. um, where, uh, Aston Villa, he wins. Mm -hmm. Aston Villa, he draws. Mm -hmm. Brentford, he wins. Mm -hmm. West Ham, he wins. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Middlesbrough, he loses. So he's, no, in the league, he's lost only one game. It's not about his yeah, Look at the teams he's no. losing to. Look at the teams what he's dropping you, points against. But you see, and in all of this, in all of this, United have only had one back-to-back -back wins. You can't beat ah, Newcastle. You don't need back-to-back -back You can't beat you young do. boys. That's what you call you can't putting beat a run together. together. If you're talking a run together. Listen, listen, listen. With 10 minutes to okay, go. Listen. All right, all right, guys. When the players are sleeping, we won't agree on this. They are sleeping on the job. When it was only one, it was only things is the player's fault. <laughs> Daniel thinks that the coach has a rule. It's, it's the same group of players. When it was Ole, it was his fault. The same group of players. Yeah. 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 This team. Ole built this team. I'm shocked you, you, you are moving away from that. He built this team. This is Ole's team. With players you approve. No. He brought no. Varane. Rannick approved happy. this. Rannick approved this. So I can he can't work for Varane. Varane. He can't work for Rannick. Rannick. Knowing Rannick, he wouldn't have brought in Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he wouldn't accept him. You know. But you approved the Ronaldo sign. Am I Reinick? Am I Reinick? No, but you as a United I am fan. talking about the one in the job, not me sitting here as a fan. So he what should bench Ronaldo about? and Guys, okay. You know, ah. uh, there was one big game in La, La Liga, of course. Atletico Madrid, they went to Barcelona. They hadn't beaten them since 2019. There was a lot of talk before the game. Uh, it was a 4-2 victory for Barcelona. Uh, Nibli, uh, talk me through this game. Atletico scored for Look, Carrasco. I watched this game, man. Eh? And it's after the first seven minutes, I thought Barcelona were in for a long, a long <laughs> afternoon. afternoon. Then all of a sudden, Barcelona just stepped out. Danny Alves. And Alves, look, Jordi oh Alba. my goodness. Jordi. How many times did we not see this combination? Quite a few times. Quite a few times. Full back to where full back. Full back to full back. Alves to, to Alba and he's in the back of the net. This was Proper footballing game. Look, yeah, I watched yeah. the game and ah, Adama Traore. Oh my goodness. Proper. This cross. is what they miss. That directness. Yes, but look, how tall is this guy? Granted, Javi, very how, small boy. How tall is he? That's what I was telling him. How can Javi be winning a, 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 a header come on, come on. against? Oh, come on. No, no, no. This I just Imenes Vasalco and who? I'm shocked. It was. I mean, Daniel, did this game re, 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 retreat your point you've been making? Sack Simeone, really? I look, mean, what was this? I think, look, it's a, it's a difference. There's difference in what the, the team wants. Look at that. We all know who uh, Simeone is. But per the transfers that Atletico Madrid make, you can clearly see that the guys at the top want a different brand of football. With Joao Felix, with Lemar, these guys are not the guys who can play his sort of football. And there's a confliction there. Because, look, it's not going to happen. You can't win a league title and defend it like this. This is worse than Hearts of Folk's title defense. This is worse. Because in terms of player for player, Atletico Madrid are better they than... They are far look, better. They are very close to Real Madrid, if not on the same level as Real Madrid, in terms of player for player. 
they should not be defending a league title. Like this is it's unacceptable. And, but look, I've said that. You also have to give credit to Barcelona. This was a top-class performance, especially mm -hmm. to go down as early as the seventh minute. Just to quickly I recover. See. And then you can see the they've, importance of the experience in the They've team. gone in for the man who fixed this. You have always insisted he that this team would come good. Javi will fix this team. All right. Um, anyway, let me show you the full La Liga results from this weekend. I think Real Madrid is still... Uh, they, they were playing earlier. Daniel, you can check for me if they've won that game. Uh, but here are the results from uh, La Liga weekend. Hatafe 3-0 winners of Levante. Elche 3-1 Alaves. Mallorca 2-1 Cardi. Salta also beaten by Acaro by two goals to nil. Uh, Osasuna, Val Sevilla and Valencia. Real Sociedad ended nil-nil. Uh, and then you see the other ones there. Real Madrid versus Granada. Um, not sure what the score is. Daniel is looking one at 1-0. 1-0 one for... Real Madrid won. Okay, so you. Real Madrid uh, basically uh, look like they are going to uh, <laughs> run away with the title. Anyway, let me show you one other game from... Serie A uh, was a Milan derby and Olivier Giroud on the night he was scoring a brace against Inter Milan that same night <laughs> Lukaku couldn't score La even Kaka. one goal against the championship team but that's not the point here take a look at this wow <laughs> Olivier <laughs> Olivier Giroud how do they call this derby uh, derby de la Madonnina Proper derby match. Proper. Proper the one. Milan derby. So Look, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. What? I it enjoyed was, it. From it start was highly to finish. Charged. Highly charged. Fireworks yeah. throughout. So scrappy. Couldn't you yeah, find two or three game. passes to get? Just misplaced passes. Yeah, flying yeah, That's the derby <laughs> game. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> is having the feel of it. Sensation uh, in the bones yeah. all day. All right. Let me show you guys two games uh, before we wrap it up. First one. Oh, goodness. What were Dortmund thinking? They lost. They played at home to Leverkusen. They've lost by five goals to, uh, to two. And then Bayern Munich extended, took advantage of that, extended their lead at the top uh, by beating Leipzig by three goals to two. Take a look at the two games. All right. So uh, <laughs> the Bundesliga looks like it's uh, getting decided. Uh, by the day, Bayern Munich now have a nine point lead. It's already the decided. Yeah, it's already getting decided. decided. I don't get it. I have a message from uh, Uncle Joe in Bamako who says, I must say, uh, coach is one of the best analysts in Ghana. Please keep up the good work. All the way from uh, Mali. Uh, Santa mm -hmm. message. Thank you, Uncle Joe. He's happy but, Senegal won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but also some things to mention. Edward Mendy, the Chelsea goalkeeper, he's been named the goalkeeper of the tournament. Sergio Mane. He's been named the player of the tournament. Vincent Abubakar with his eight goals is a top scorer of the tournament. So he wins the uh, golden boot. Uh, Mani wins the golden shoe. Or the golden ball. Sorry. And then uh, Duad Mendy wins. I don't know what he wins. Golden the gloves. Golden gloves. <laughs> so the baton so is Sergio handed. Mani, golden ball. Uh, Vincent Abubakar, golden uh, shoe mm -hmm. and then of course I don't mind the goals. But guys, congratulations to Senegal once again. But that's mm -hmm. our show for tonight. Always Thank a you pleasure. very much. Pleasure. Uh, Coach Nimli and Daniel Cranston. Thanks to my producer, the director, the sound and camera uh, camera woman. <laughs> Until next time, you take care of yourself. Thanks for tuning in and bye bye.